Why? And I said, Mum and Dad were Christians. I read the Bible and I went to a Christian school and I was really happy. And they said, no. And then I wasn't happy anymore. I said, why? And they said, the only thing that gets you to heaven is what Jesus Christ said and did. And when they told me what he said and did, it rocked my socks off. But I got them back. That's my dad <laughs> joke. It's a terrible joke. But I get some laughs, all right? That's the main thing. Now listen, the serious part of it is Jesus Christ said these words, unless you're born again of my spirit, you cannot enter heaven. Think about that. When I heard that, I thought, I'm going to get that 100% right in my life. I'll tell you why. Looked on the internet yesterday, 166,000 people died yesterday, and today, and tomorrow, and every day through 2023. 60 million of them. The real way I tell you that story is, we have no control over that, right? None of us do. So, if you have no control over that, you don't know when, at least know where. Does that make sense? Know where you're going to go if something happens. This is just common sense, but people don't think about it. They don't want to think about eternity, thinking about everything and anything else and lunch and all that important stuff, you know? And it is, you know, we've got to eat, but eternity is important. We're out here today talking to people about their eternity. Don't even know people may, don't know you guys, may never see you again, I hope I do, but I care for you. How can I care for you? And why do I care for you? Because God cares about you. He wants you to safe in his hand. If something happens, you want to know that you're going to be safe in the hand of God, yeah? Makes sense. Okay, this is the problem. We all stand before God, so I'm going to use you, okay? Everyone's going to stand before God. Don't, don't disappear. No, but here we go. You've deserted him. It's all right, man. Oh, listen, he opens up for this one. Even some of that stuff you never want to tell anyone about, right? He sees it all. Nothing's hidden from him. He says, over here is heaven. There's no sin in heaven. Looks at your life, sees sin on your life. You don't get a pass. But Christians know that Jesus Christ came to this earth, right? Died on the cross. Why did he do that? To take the sin off your life and put on himself. Free gift, paid the penalty. It's like you're in the, in the court and you've got all these fines, right? Speeding fines everywhere. Name, your name's all over them. And the judge says, you're guilty of all these. And then someone comes and pays them, pays the penalty for you. And the judge says, I can see you're guilty here, your name's all over it, but somebody's paid it, you can go free. That's what Jesus Christ did. He paid the penalty of our sin. But the big one is he gave you something back too. His righteousness. Big word means no sin. And when you're born of the Spirit of God and you've got the righteousness of God on you, he looks at that righteousness, sees no sin, no sin in heaven, there's your pass. Isn't this easy? Easy as. But not automatic. If it was automatic, see all these hundreds of people? Everywhere, be all dancing and saying, we're going to heaven, we're all... It's not like that. You've got to do something. That's why he's got you here today. It's like a divine appointment. He wants to get you safe in his hand. He loves you so much. All right, so what he's doing, he's knocking on the door of your life today and he says, if anyone hears my voice, opens the door, I'll come in, I'll wash away all your sin, I'll give you my righteousness, and you'll be safe in his hand. Free gift, costs you nothing, but gives you everything. Yeah? Let's do it. Let's pray. Let's get this right. All together, what we do is we bow our head before God and mean this before Him because He means it with you, okay? You say, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father I, ask I ask Jesus into my life. Come in and wash away all my sin. Come in and wash away all my sin. Give me all your righteousness. Give me all your righteousness. I believe you died for me. I believe you died for me. And that you rose again. And that you rose again. I give you my life. I give you my life. I turn away from my sin. I turn away from my sin. And according to your word. And according to your word. I'm now born of your spirit. I'm now born of your spirit. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hey, he knows. This know. He's seen the things. I have. That's how we do it. Now listen, I can't promise you anything, nothing. But the God who made you and me and everything in heaven and earth makes you this promise. And the Bible says it's impossible for him to lie. He cannot lie. He says you are now safe in his hand. Isn't that beautiful? Even better, he says nobody, not even yourself, can ever pluck you out. Isn't that good? We can't unsave ourselves. He's got you covered in eternity. It's beautiful. Okay? That's what he wanted to do with you today. Wonderful thing. So, Mike with the mic. Who's got a phone? I'm already subscribed. You're subscribed? Yeah. What do isn't, you know? Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> hey, it's a family of something of what you've done today. It's so important, guys. I'm so proud of you guys pulling up and saying good day, you know? Yeah. It's beautiful. Thank you so much. You're so respectful.